On this month's Emerald Coast Stories, that's brought to you by Cindy Zimmerman, that's cindyzsellshomes.com, we talked to J.P. McHale. He grew up right here on Kelly Road in Niceville, but he took a little bit of a longer road to make it to success. But he's become a wild success in the local fitness industry here in Northwest Florida. His latest project is M3. It's a gym specifically for high school athletes who want to make it to the next level. Nice field football practice in the hot Florida sun simply ain't for the faint of heart. But year after year, the small town team shows up, competes, and wins. Thanks in no small part to this gym on the north side of Valparaiso, which has made it its mission to pump out the best athletes on any field in any sport in Florida. Inside, J.P. McHale has always had the entrepreneur spirit in him. It just wasn't always pointed in exactly the right direction. Grew up right down the street from here in Kelly Hill Estates, I used to play on these sand pits. He spent time as a guest of the federal prison system in wonderful Yazoo City, Mississippi, for drug trafficking. The same business principles I applied selling marijuana I do today, treating people right, basically. It's my, you know, long-term relationships. I always say relationships are worth more than money. I was just doing the wrong thing, but I was very successful at it, I assumed the leadership role in it. And I've always had that entrepreneur spirit. Before getting out of prison in late 2015, he gained a passion for fitness and working out, something he quickly translated into serious study. He got moved to finish his sentence in a white collar facility and came in contact with accountants, lawyers, and other business people who helped him put together a plan for once he stood outside the prison gates. He continued to learn about sports science as well. That's pretty nice. Finally, the day came and he got out with a mission. He didn't jump into the business world immediately, though. And I'm thinking I'm going to get out in the world and just kill it. And I go to take a test, a personality test at a commercial gym locally, and I failed it, I guess, 50%. And I guess looking at the emotions, the expression on people's face. And I remember the guy saying to me, would you take a job sweeping at a welding shop? And anyways, I ended up, a friend of mine helped me out. I got a job at World of Beer. I was cooking, flipping burgers for six weeks. First time I ever worked wearing slip shoes, cooking in a restaurant in my life before. He eventually got a job as a fitness coach at a corporately owned gym and worked his way up the ladder to a management role. Then he opened up a general fitness gym in Fort Walton of his own, which allowed him to bring in the cash flow for this project, a gym specifically for high school athletes who want to play at the next level, or at least would like to have the talent to do it. Right here. The older Mikhail has a wall of framed photos with athletes who have trained here to play college or professional football. In Wanya Thomas's case, Grant Thompson leads the Niceville Eagles through those blistering hot summers we talked about a little bit earlier. Niceville just does it great, man. Niceville does it great. We do we have so much support from our community and People like him, his son played here, was an awesome kid. He's now playing Division I football. So we're blessed to have somebody like him around in this community. The gym's been a boon for athletes here in the Niceville area. And while McHale doesn't train them exclusively, it does help that the yeah. facility is well within the Niceville geographic area. The best part for him, though, is helping kids to not take the same long and difficult trek to success that he did right here at home. And, and, and I think that's where my passion lies, too, is it's bigger than just the training. Um, you know, it's, it's getting a hold of them while they're young and teaching these habits. And not every kid's going to become a Division One athlete, but these are characteristics that transfer over into everyday life, work ethic. Some kids are going to go out and just be successful. Some kids are going to be beast in high school and, and go off to college and be great. But maybe it's not for everybody, but hopefully I can have an impact on as many kids as possible and try to steer kids from doing the dumb stuff that I did as a kid growing up. Okay, so I'm gonna throw a couple of numbers at you, but I promise you they're interesting. So the NCAA reports that about 8 million high schoolers every year play some high school athletics. And about half a million kids, or I guess young adults, go on every year to play college athletics. If you transpose those numbers over onto Niceville High School, you should expect about 16 kids to sign letters of intent every two years. Well, here's the thing. Niceville has signed a total of 87 athletes in the last two years to go play in college. Kind of an incredible number. And if you want to track and see where everybody's gone, what sports they're playing, what colleges they went to, you can go to our website. I'll put a link in the description of this video or just go to midbaynews.com. For Midbay News, I'm Christopher Saul.